Can you read that? Ben Teardrop. Highly recommended. Would do it again. But I don't think I need to. This will last me in my life. Here's the trailer and storage. It's a huge part of if you're a, a weekend camper, you still need to go to work, need to store the trailer, unless you can park it at home. A huge part of owning or having an RV is where you're gonna park the thing. This is my storage yard. Um, so let's get it hooked up. I want you to see what it kind of looks like in a storage yard. This is a really nice storage yard. This trailer parked right here makes it kind of tough to get in and out, but not impossible. All right, let's get it loaded up. This makes it so much easier than the old days. I'd have a flag. Come on, get underneath it. All right, so I'm getting ready to go on a thousand mile round trip. Some uh, white lithium grease to uh, lube the ball here. And that's what we're looking for is that seat. Well, make sure that comes all the way down. You can't lift it up. And this locks down in place. Put a pin in here. That's gonna take both hands to do that. All right, I have to kind of dance my way out of here. Watch so I don't jackknife the trailer and damage it. But give myself enough room. I'm gonna give myself just a little bit more. I could probably make that cut. But I don't want to hit that guy's trailer. All right, we're all hooked up. You can see how the trailer is the height of the truck, the width of the truck. I double check all my fittings down here. The chains are on, the brake cable's on, the, the wheel rest is up. The pin lock is in. I got confirmation on the truck that I have a good connection. Check my tires. When I get home, I'm gonna check the air pressure. It's been about three months since I checked the air pressure. And uh, lube the axles. I do a walk around. Everything looks good. My tire will hold. Here's my uh, parking space. I keep the weed spray down underneath the trailer. I'll have to hit it again when I'm coming home. I've had the trailer a year now, and I've already greased the wheels one time, about halfway through. It's really cool with these, uh, take that rubber cap off, i got some uh, grease here, one, two, three, four, five, I'm just going to give it five squeezes. Put the rubber cap back on. Continuing the review of my Ben Teardrop. One year, one year I've had this beautiful trailer. Um, I can't think of any cons. Um, not to say it's perfect, but it's perfect for my application. It's a perfect trailer for my application. So just how much have I used it? I've spent uh, 27 nights in the trailer so far, over a year. So that's almost a month's worth of nights out of 12 months of ownership. That means the rest of the months it's been in storage, like the other video clip I showed where, where it's in storage all that time. Okay, so, um, so essentially over a 12-month period, I've used it one month. The rest of the month has been in storage, which makes it an ideal trailer for storage. It's not that big. Yeah, some places charge by the foot, um, some by the space. Uh, how much room I need to get in and out of there is not as much as a, a larger trailer. So those are all pros 
I've also towed it almost 5,000 miles, 4,890. Let's just say 49, 4,900 miles, 5,000 miles. I've towed it. The tires, everything, it tows real true. It's, it's, you know, it's real easy to tow behind my one F-150 pickup truck over there. The height of the trailer lines up beautifully with the height of the cab on the truck. Um, and it also lines up on the width. So when I look down my mirrors, I can see all the way down. These are, these are all pros for me. I've already broke the wind with the truck. And the trailer's following right behind me real close, too, I might add. I've gone some down some uh, pretty tight turns that I was, thank God I didn't have a larger rig. And also clearance for branches. I can get it up into my carport where I work on it. When I want to do some uh, modifications. Uh, maintenance, I just have to grease the wheels so far, put air in the tires. <sighs> Nothing. Um, and waxed it a couple times. It's due for another another waxing. So when you compare that to, to anything larger, it's more and more work to... Uh, to maintain the outside, to maintain the inside. No plumbing, no gas, no good coffee. It, it's just a, for my application, the cons are obvious. You can't stand up in it, but to me, that's not a problem. I'm healthy. My wife and I are both healthy knees and the ability to, to get around in there. But it's just basically a bedroom. So we don't do anything else in there. We don't do anything else in there. It's just a bedroom. Um, got little portable air conditioners inside there that can run on battery. We've got uh, a little electric heater. Um, it's too big. When that thing dies, I can get the smallest electrical heater. I use a heating blanket or heating pad uh, for the type of environment we're going to be camping in. One of the things I had to add more to was the, the ventilation just to get more... Um, it's got a beautiful exhaust fan on it, which is perfect. You need to have that. But the windows are, are not that big. You can see one of the windows. See one of the windows right there. That's most of it. Um, that's all that opens up. So I added a fresh air vent right there. And that's that's helpful to have. To, to get air in, to get it out. Um, what else? If I unhook it, it's easy to unhook, easy to reattach, because it's it's so lightweight. This toolbox I added onto the front, the small one that came with it, I like this one a lot better. So it gave me a lot more depth, a lot more room uh, for the things I wanted to put inside the box. The box came with the trailer, it's fine. Uh, what else? The galley's working out great, learn how to use that. We should take a tour around the trailer. What else can I say about owning the teardrop? It's, it's just been the perfect trailer. The other thing I, I really like about it is easy. Not that there's much to work on, but when I want to make mod modifications to it, it's easy to understand the assembly of the trailer, the components, the manufacturing, the engineering. I don't know what the right word is, but I can, I can look at something and say, can I modify that or not? Some of the other constructions, I, I, I might not have the strength to do what I want to do. This this thing, the way it's built, is, for me, my application outstanding. All right, let's take a look around real quick here. Phoenix is laying out here with me. I've dragged the tail, table up underneath. I had to attach this on it. Again, the Yenu strut was easy to attach to this trailer, so I can get the height that I wanted for, for me. That works out great. You can see my fat fish in the back. That's our bad weather, out of weather uh, retreat. The tarp on top is because the fat fish is not waterproof. It won't hold back the rain. It's been drizzling already today. I just put these extensions on. Same thing. Might be getting some rain today, and I just want to extend my space a little bit. My sister's coming over for dinner. Out here, I'm going to do some smoking tenderloins in a little bit. Got the, the big toolbox on top. I'm going to use this uh, electric plate, but if it starts raining, I have to bring it up inside. You can see on top of the trail over there that I added the cargo box and added an overcover for the vent. Got to have that. 
and with the round shape the wind comes right around it and then you can see the side this side of the trailer everything just lines up really nice when I'm looking at my mirror the side mirror that's the view I see well just that that line right there that's the line I see and I see everything on that side I can even see the tire how it's riding on the pavement tongues long enough haven't jackknifed it yet let's just take a real quick inside over here I don't think it's cleaned up adjust for the light Phoenix and I lay on that bed my wife lays on the bunk up there you can see the zero breeze portable air conditioner and the second one right there I got an ice maker that seems to be the best spot for it right now and the microwave also the best spot for it right now and then our gear our storage for our gear on these shelves over here the baker racks the door on each side is also very nice to have you know principally only use this side I've modified the galley took out some of the stuff so I can put this uh, bigger refrigerator I added this shelf right here just attach that right to the right to the framing of the trailer and then this side right here the only problem with anything in here whatever you need seems to be stuff on here so gotta look just to learn to stay in harmony flow all right so for me quick review would I do it again I absolutely would do it again um, Anything I might do differently would be have it shipped to me from Oregon, Bend, Oregon to Orlando, Florida. That's a long drive and I had a time constraint, so it wasn't that much fun. That's the only thing I would do differently is I'd just have it delivered. But yeah, it's a, it's a great, great product.